Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're going to design tracked vehicles of war because we're going to be checking out Sprocket. Now, this is a tank game like no other. The idea is pretty simple. You design a tank from the ground up and survive as long as you possibly can while fighting enemies, whether it be attacking or being attacked, depending on the scenario you choose. Now, where this game truly shines, though, is in the tank designing. You can customize freaking everything and i mean freaking everything and i am <laughs> oh god yeah we're gonna take that to war but yeah i'm so excited to just get in here and actually try and do this right i think for the start though we should get weird but the amount like just the amount of customization is 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 quite insane i mean you have to choose your powertrain your tracks of course which are obviously very fun to play with you can choose like even where your tensioner wheels are Hell, you can even change your sprocket designs, your sprocket mounts, all these other things. The uh, It's actually quite overwhelming with the amount of things you can do in this game. So, of course, for the start here, we're going to make an absolutely stupid tank and uh, see how long that lasts. It probably won't be long. Surprise, surprise. But yeah, I just want to design something absolutely massive. So, of course, we're going to go straight to the heavy guns. Wait, can we hold on? Can we please? Oh, I can't stack them. That's no fun. Can I put two on here or is it one per? No, yes. So let's put one of these low profile ones down here because yeah, you know what? Two is always better than one. Oh, oh, I hate this game now. I, I, I was going to have a, a freaking tank with so many turrets on it. All right, so we can't do that, but let's just make a huge heavy tank. I don't even know what kind of mantlet I want. Probably this big guy right here. That looks pretty fun to play with. I mean, you can even see your armor uh, effective thickness. If you've played something like World of Tanks, you'll kind of understand how angling armor is important. Generally, if the armor is more angled, you have a higher chance of ricocheting and the effective thickness of said armor is going to be thicker because if you think about it, if a piece of metal's bent, you have to go through more of it than if it was straight. So this armor where I, I'm, I'm putting the mouse right now has effective thickness of 234 meters where the actual piece of metal is only 150 millimeters thick. So basically you want to angle your armor. Is that a barrel or are you just happy to see me? Imagine if I just had this gun on his. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so freaking stupid. Wait, can I just make it thick? We're going to up the caliber of that to a boom tube. There we go. You know what? No, I actually do want to see if we can do this right. Um, so we have internal space here. We're obviously way over the internal space right now because our caliber is so high. But I think once I expand out the turret size, we should be able to get more internal space. Right now, we wouldn't be able to play because we're using 6.10. I don't know if that's meters or whatever it is of space where we only have 4.52. So essentially we just need to make this tank bigger to uh, deal with the size of this cannon. All right, but we're gonna extend that barrel, make it nice and big. I don't know, I mean, you don't really want too big because then I'm assuming the reload time is gonna be longer. Oh yeah, you can actually see your base reload time here. Oh, the details. Um, I'm assuming it's the caliber going to, yes, obviously a smaller gun is quicker to reload. So let's Let's maybe go a decent size. We probably don't need to go crazy, though. I doubt there's going to be many hard tanks for one of the first scenarios. Let's do something like that. And we'll up the shell length to 0.5 meters. You can even change the starting thickness. Let's have a thick boy at the start. There we go. That looks exciting. I'm also going to add more length just to increase velocity. That's going to make it easier to aim. Let's go back to the base, though. I wanted to do the gun just because guns are fun, but we should probably, you know work on a turret that can handle this beast. So we're just going to, oh no, dude. Okay, I'm gonna have to move the turret. All right, we're gonna up those cheeks a little bit so it doesn't look so weird. It looks pretty weird, let's be honest here, but it, it's my first tank design. We've angled it quite a bit. Okay, we haven't angled it enough, clearly. It's still got pretty low thickness. Okay, there we go. It's a little confused because the armor wasn't doing very well because you can change the thickness. So we want, obviously, the front to be a thick boy. All right, so I'm happy with that armor. Now let's design the hull because we haven't touched that at all. First of all, let's make these tracks a little bit bigger. So yeah, we're going to go to mobility first, actually. We're going to up the powertrain. So we can either do clutch braking or twin tra transmission. I'm going to keep twin on. Um, oh wow, we can even change like suspension freaking. Oh my god, this is this is gonna take me forever just to design one tank. I love it though. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so we want to keep this kind of low to the ground. It's already a big target. We don't want to make it bigger, but I'm assuming we want a little bit of suspension so we don't, you know, bounce around like crazy. I can throw some spare tracks on here. I wonder if it works as armor because often that was the case. Um, we'll throw some on the back. Obviously, we want to expand this out a bit. 
I don't, I, I don't want a crazy design. I want something that will hopefully actually work. So there we go. That looks good. We'll change those to those. I just like those better. God, you can change everything, though. This is so cool. I'm just having fun designing a tank now. Suspension. Oh, you can change total suspension designs. I don't know enough about suspension to be playing with this. Let's just keep it with that one. All right, and I think that's good. We still need driver's port and gunner sight to work. We still got to very much design the crew. Let's up the engine here. We're going to go for a heavy engine. It's still going to be slow. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we definitely don't want light engines. Uh, we can even go advanced here. Oh, my God. Number of cylinders. Up it. Ah, uh, that's the max we can do. You can customize the RPM. You can even up, to up the idle if you want. Jesus. You can change the gearing. You can add more gears if you want. We'll, we'll keep it with the suggested. I don't know if I want to get this deep into this game, but that's actually insane. Okay, so now we got to choose where our crew goes. So Commander can go in the turret. I think we can make him the radio operator as well. I don't know if we need a radio operator for this job, but we probably should have one. So we have a loader, we have a gunner, and we have a driver. Can we do two loaders? Sometimes it makes sense to... Um, Two, two loaders. I love how he's a passenger at the start. I would like him to be a loader as well. Oh, you can only have one loader? Big tanks often have two lo loaders, so that's kind of lame. And put a Commander Coppola on the top of this. Not really a smart design for a Coppola, but we'll throw it right there. All right, we got a viewport port for the gunner. I'm assuming that's to aim down sight, so we're going to throw that, I guess, right here. And then the driver's in the hull, so we'll put him right in the middle at the bottom. I'm assuming we need an antenna for our radio system, so we'll throw that in the back where it's hidden. Crew hatch at the bottom here. You can kind of see the scale of this thing now with the crew hatch. I don't think we'll be fighting in the dark, but just in case, we'll throw some headlights on it. I don't think we need brake lights. Logs are always smart. These were used to go over, uh, like, ditches and whatnot. And it's also added armor. So, well, I, I, at least in real life, I don't know about in this game. We can also throw a gun at the commander's hatch just in case. I don't know if I can use it, but I hope I can. All right, is that everything? Of course, we got to just camo it up. Well, watch this thing be a total failure, but it's so big and stupid. Let's try it out. It's way too big. Like, we have so much extra space. That's just added tonnage. Design must be under 40 tons for this mission. Oh, we're 43. Okay, so I guess we got to redesign our space a little bit. And we are just within range. That's perfect. The, the turret's bigger than the actual hull, but it's going to be so fun to use. Okay. Uh, design must be for... Oh, damn it. I must have made it a little bit bigger. Okay, hold on. We'll just get rid of that a little bit. <laughs> Does it work? It freaking works. It's the stupidest looking tank I've ever seen. I can't even rotate it. I'm being shot right now. I should probably focus. Oh, my God. It doesn't... It hardly moves doesn't go up what what did i do wrong all right come right into my crosshair i don't know why the gun depression isn't working please come here i can hardly move this was not a good design yes come on come on ah uh, just why are you so tall there we go goodbye bennett so yeah not the smartest tank design you generally don't want to just max out your turret size <laughs> and it's so heavy i can't even turn it i actually can't turn it it's a good thing my turret turns pretty fast. I put a lot of torque into that because without that, we'd be screwed. I'm still reloading, by the way. Thanks for stopping. You definitely would have killed me if you kept going. Oh, uh, I'm hitting, getting hit by the side now. This was a really bad tank design. I think we got to go for like a light speedy tank or at least like a medium design. I'm actually stuck in the ground now. I don't know if it's because it's so heavy or what. That, I mean, I got two tanks, but that was not optimal. All right, so we're going to go for a light tank design. Can you see the difference? That's going to hopefully help out a lot. I'm going to keep it nice and light and hopefully speedy. So we just want crazy angles on this thing. That's looking good. Much better. I got to learn how to angle this. Are these these? Yes, there we go. Okay, I just want a little bit of an angle with that. Nothing too much. Keeping a nice low profile. Much better looking tank so far. Up that frontal armor. Again, we want to make sure that's nice and safe. All right, so we have a base reload time of 2.5 seconds now. I up the caliber just a little bit. This is way better. I, what, what was the reload last time? Like 10 seconds at least. We're still a little bit heavy, 
mostly because of the crew so we're gonna have to up this turret a little bit just to fix fit, fit everything in there it's 81 percent of the crew i wonder what crew do we have in there if i can move a crew to the hall that would obviously be good commander's in the turret if i throw him in the hall we now, now the hull's having issues, but that should be way better. And then I can customize this turret a little bit more because I want the turret small. The smaller it is, I'm assuming the faster it rotates. And that's obviously important because the front looks good, but the back is not the best. So we're going to up those cheeks a little bit because we have room now. And we're going to angle the hell out of that because it has no angle right now, just because we have the space to do so. That way, hopefully, we bounce a lot more. Now we need to angle the sides as well because we can. So there we go. Something like that that at least has more angles. And we're going to have to have, unfortunately, a little bit of a bigger hull. We drop the fuel down. That's going to help out a little bit. I don't know how much fuel I'm going to need. Hopefully, I don't run out because that would be annoying. Oh, interesting. What was that that I just pulled? Okay, so the bottom... I guess I had the bottom really thin. So I didn't have to actually change much at all. I think this is good. We're maxing out once again, pretty much. Except this time, it's only 16 tons. Let's see if we can... Whoa. Why what the hell? Missing component gunner sight. Oh, yeah. You know what? We should probably return. Why was that there? Is, was that a glitch? Wait, can I spawn in two? Oh, <gasps> so if I keep my tank light, it, it ups it because you got to remember it was 40 tons. So it allows me to have another tank. That's insane. Okay, so this is probably going to go a hell of a lot better. Okay, but we still need the driver's port and the gunner sight, and then we're good. All right, not the best place for a gunner sight. We're going to see a lot of our turret, but that's okay. I don't think we're going to need to see too well. All right, aside from that, I think we're good. We don't need to worry about anything else. Let's just get out there and see how we can... Oh, yeah, it's so much better. I can actually rotate it this time, and we can see the tanks coming in. It's actually speedy as well. Oh, this is actually... Is this a decent tank? All right, hopefully the, the armor can withstand the attacks. Why can't I shoot? What, 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 what did I do wrong? Why can't I shoot? Return to the designer. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Is it because I put the loader in the hull? Is it really going to allow me to put the loader in a hull when I can't reload the gun in the freaking turret? That's got to be it. I just want to see. Is this is this it? Yes, I'm reloading now. That was actually it. Why would you let me put it in the hall if you can't be in there? All right, team. Come on, bro. bro. Let's do it. Oh, this actually feels good. We got bullet drop. Just missed him. Thank God the reload time's insane. This guy's doing way more than me. This is great. He's already killed three. What? What is he looking at? Oh, God. There's a tank beside us. Oh, I don't want to be hit by the side. Take him out. Take him out. How am I so bad? Teammate, help me. There we go. I'm helping. Uh, this guy's faster than me at spotting them. It's almost like the commander in the hall's a bad idea because he can't freaking see. This is so cool, though. I didn't know that if you, if you keep the tank light, you just get more tanks on your team. Did we do it? I thought there'd be like a congratulations, you win. But no, we. I, I guess we did it. I hope I can save this tank design because... This is much better than my big one. All right, so that went honestly a little too well. So that was ambush. Let's try um, railway sounds fun. So the tank worked out last time. Let's just use it again. Win the battle. Okay, it's looking like I have more space now for whatever reason. So we're just gonna... I think the best thing would be to up our firepower a little bit. I feel like there's gonna be harder enemies. Actually, let's just look at our armor. Okay, armor's now green everywhere. That's scary. So... What, before that, let's just up our armor a little bit, actually. I'm gonna add a little bit more armor to the gun mount as well. And let's up the caliber of that gun a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy, because then the reload times get insane. All right, that I, th I think that should be good. It's not perfect, but hey, it should be a lot better. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I got a team of four this time, though. And I forgot to get the commander's cupola, but that's okay. I, I mean, he's just gonna stay in the tank, I guess. Oh, this thing is so fast. This feels like a very nimble tank. I, I love this design. I'm so happy I made it. Looks like we got an enemy way in the distance over there. I thought I saw something. Maybe I'm insane. Nope, there he is. There is something in the distance shooting at us. Not much cover here. This has got to be the worst map design I've ever seen. I mean, can we, can we have a freaking tree maybe? Oh, a little, little, little bit high. A little bit high. Zoom in. Got him. Oh, I'm not petting though. Not petting the, this tank. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? We're going to have to get a side profile here. Can we, like, track them? I'm not even sure. Oh, did you see that ricochet? Wow. You know what? The, the visuals are not the best. 
<laughs> but that was actually cool. So we need either higher caliber or we need to get to the sides of them. All right, maybe we just need a little bit of a different tank design. What? I can't believe how fast this is. Okay, long reload time. That's because we have essentially a ship cannon on this. Can I even lift this? Okay, I can. I can actually lift it. Yeah, you're not getting through that armor. I've maxed this thing out. Oh, it's going to take a while to learn how to aim this thing, though. 20 second reload. I'm just going to let them come to me. Oh, I feel like a walking fortress. They're getting a little close, though. If they do get behind me, I have no armor. Did I kill it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't account for a um, bullet drop, I guess. We're going to have to start backing up. No, 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 no. Oh, hi there. How's it going? <laughs> this was a bad tank design. <laughs> okay, maybe making something so tall was not the best idea. So I got a teammate. Looks like he's pretty far away. Still have an extremely high-powered gun on this, but I think this should do enough to uh, actually take these guys down. All right, I see one coming over the uh, distance here. The thing with this map is you can't really hide anywhere. So you just got to focus on sheer armor. There's a guy. Yeah, I see him right over there. Oh, did I? I don't know if I bounced off him or the railroad track. All right, you know what? We have lots of guys coming this way. Let's keep my armor pointed towards them. There we go. I feel like I'm actually holding out now. Oh, you're so lucky. All right, come on. There we go. Finally, I can at least penetrate these jerks. And they can't seem to do well on me. So as long as they don't get behind me, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, this feels so cool. Done. All right, next one. And did that go underneath? It must have. Oh, you're you are so lucky. We did it. We okay. I, I must have actually got him. So he must have got the final guy on my side. Okay, that feels good with this massive beast. Well, it's nice to see some weird tank designs do indeed work. And on that, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode of Sprocket here. I just wanted to quickly show you guys this one because I think it is so damn cool. I don't know any other game where you can customize every angle of a tank and it actually reflect how the armor works in the game. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. If you want to see more of it, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.